Hello again and welcome to our 17th test and measurement video. Today we'll look at the reference facility in the amazing Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope. To get started, we'll need a waveform to put in the reference library. Rather than probing an outside signal, we'll use the oscilloscope's internal arbitrary function generator. Push AFG. This time, we'll use multipurpose knob A to select the ramp wave. Then, push menu off three times to clear the display of excess menus. There's the ramp wave, or triangle wave as it is also called. Now, Press Menu, one of the Save Recall buttons below the horizontal row of soft keys. This makes the soft keys contextual. Go on to press the second soft key, Save Waveforms. This activates the soft keys on the right side of the display. The top soft key is Source, which can be selected by turning multipurpose knob A. In this case, we'll keep Channel 1, which is the default, as our source. The second soft key is Destination, controlled by multipurpose knob B. Here again, we'll keep the default, R1. Then press OK, Save. This puts the ramp wave in R1, overriding anything that may have been there previously. Notice that the reference waveform is shown in white, distinguishing it from the analog channel waveforms. That's all there is to creating a reference waveform and putting it into the oscilloscope memory. This file is non-volatile, meaning that if you power down the oscilloscope or go back to the default setup, it will always be there. However, 10M waveforms are volatile, and they disappear forever when the oscilloscope is shut down. To save them, use an external flash drive. Now let's see how to bring up an existing reference waveform. Press Default Setup and Menu Off to clear the display. Then, press the Reference button. the second one in the vertical column above channel 1 input. The soft keys along the bottom of the display correspond to R1 through R4 and they toggle off and on. Press R1 and there it is. Notice that it is possible to turn all reference channels on and display the saved reference channels simultaneously. You can push Reference Details to get information about the selected reference waveform. Also, using the bottom soft key, it is possible to save the reference signal in an external flash drive inserted into a USB slot. Reference waveforms can be scaled and positioned. Select the desired waveform and adjust with multipurpose knobs A and B. Thanks for watching. More videos on today's amazing oscilloscopes are coming soon. Check back frequently.